let me show you what's new this week. You might have noticed these cute little houses scattered about and the fact that you can't see the interiors. I've been thinking about changing the housing to be represented by a big solid house like this one that the NPCs will be able to go inside. Similar to Stardew Valley, the player would be able to visit these houses which would then load a separate scene showing their interior. Let me know what you think makes sense here because I'm genuinely not sure what I like more except for the fact that these are more aesthetically pleasing than what we currently have. You will notice the old eyesore of the concrete pathways are gone and in their place we have lovely shiny new dirt paths. Some trees, little bits of grass and flowers as well as some water ponds. These are still a little lifeless for my liking and I'll be adding a bit of movement, especially to the water. I've also spent a bit of time this week trying to learn a bit about shaders but haven't quite got enough to add to the game. As I mentioned in the last update, I've moved to 16x16 16 16 sprites. So now everything is a little bit more zoomed in than it was. Movement speeds have also been tweaked to make the world feel a little bit more accurate and to scale. Additionally, our lovely slimy friends now colour themselves so that they all look a little bit more unique. I've been refining the schedule controller that I talked about in my last video to make slimes take their water bottles and stash them in their homes before promptly returning back to buy and hoard even more water indefinitely. Eventually this is going to allow for the full shopping mechanic that I want to have in the game whereby slimes go and buy whatever they need to fill their needs. The big change this week has been in the slime movement system. This has involved almost completely rewriting the slimes to use rigid bodies to move around instead of kinematic bodies. For anyone that doesn't really know what the difference is, it's basically moving from saying, hey, you have a speed or a direction you are moving in, to hey, you're a fully simulated physics object that can have weight and gravity as well as drag and can have other forces applied to it. The reason I had to switch to this new system is that it's the only way to satisfyingly get the hopping that we're also familiar with when it comes to slimes. An added bonus of it was the mayhem that ensued as slimes can now shove each other around, sometimes even kidnapping innocent passers-by and taking them to their homes. As you might have guessed, this could still do with some refining. In the old system, slimes used to pick a direction based on their pathfinding and just kind of move towards it at a constant speed. Not just is this visually boring, but also makes it easy for them to clip through things they shouldn't be. Now, they take a big leap towards their next checkpoint and slide to a stop before taking their next one. This was pretty damn tricky to do. As you can see here, there were a lot of issues of the slime overshooting the checkpoint and never being able to get to their destination, hopping back and forth perpetually. To make this work, I had to manually tweak a lot of values and give tolerances so the slime would count being really, really close to where it wanted to go as having reached its destination. You'll also notice that the player is able to magically restock the bottles on the ground from this blue square that is acting as a bottle spawner. This is what I'm going to be building into a shopping job that the player will be able to do in order to earn a little bit of money. So that's pretty much it for this week. I've got loads more to work on to smooth out these features, but I'm happy for the direction the game is taking. Also, I think we're just going to have to take a moment here to appreciate how nice of a sunny day it is today. I just had to share this shot with you guys. Hope you have a lovely day wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe for future updates or join the discord and drop me a comment below for any feedback you might have.